Alright guys, it is your boy, Tony Two Guns, and this is my first, I don't know, video vlog as a um, monster skater with CV Night Skate. Hell yeah, if you haven't seen those videos, there's a couple, I'm gonna post it in my little link. Um, I thought I was charging it, but this is only at 25%, so I don't know how much footage I will be getting with this camera. Thank you, CV Night Skate, making things even better. If you didn't know, it's got this killer ray Cedo right here real quick. So, um... Yeah, so let's hurry up and get to this park. I'm at uh, Yucca Valley Skate Park, and it's my first time here, and it looks like nobody's here. I don't know if it's because it's stranded or what, but let's take a look, and hopefully I get some footage before I die. Realizing, first of all, it wasn't super easy to get here because I was behind a store, and it was like private parking or drive through no traffic, so I had to go around. And when I went around the original way, there was no way to get in there, but I'm seeing where I'm at. A lot of people... Just end up driving off road to get to the park area, but I see like, like civilian patrol cars and stuff like that, so I don't want to do anything extra because I'm not from this city, so no need to get in trouble. But I would like to give you guys first impressions of the park. So I gotta walk through this little basketball field, which is pretty damn cool. I'm gonna flip the camera over for you guys. So it's my first time walking around with this. Do a tour so hopefully it comes out good if not too bad we'll deal with it so and as i first walk up into here it's like an oval shape or whatever we got a little i guess a little spot right here maybe one point you used to be able to walk through the sand without being in the sand actually all right so let's see what we first have okay everything so i like how they have this little curb here if you really 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 want to you can just wax the shit of the curbs right but it also keeps the sand out, so I just like that part to begin with. Got this little like box you can grind any way you want. You can use it if you're into sliding, set slides and things like that you can do. Unity slides. Ooh, we got this really interesting like S ledge curb. It goes up and down. That one just chops off and that one just comes off to like an end. So right here we got this like their version of a fun box, which is pretty damn cool. It's like as if it was about to be ramps into a pyramid but they chop it off into a ledge but then they add two higher ledges on each end so you can do a lot of stuff from here come back down you can grind you can turn here come back down get that mid ledge right there a rail shall i say a little rail it's a little flat rail but it's kind of like it's, it's it's shaped like a ledge because it's uh, squared off and stuff like that we got a little depending on who you ask so we got this little ramp here some people call this noping or noping or non-coping. Well, basically, it looks like you just add coping there and it'll be the same drop, but because there's no metal piece there. That's why people say that, I guess. Other side. So you can air this if you're pretty good with it or just roll over and go back down. So now we got another one. It's a little pyramid box. Right there, which is pretty damn cool. Got some more curbs. If you jump over, you end up in sand. And over here we got the one, two, three. How do you count these guys? You got this as three steps, four steps. Talk to me, but I like how the last one you can still grind on. And it's not just the floor. So boom. Then over here, which is really damn pretty interesting because no coping. But you can hit it like coping. In the sense of like a spine. Like if you just aired that and went back down or quickly tap it. I guess you kind of get used to it the same way kind of like coping. But not really, because mentally, touching coping's another story. It's kind of like a half pipe over here, two little quarter pipes next to each other. Down to some stairs. See, this right here. Say whatever you want about this park. These right, This right here is what parks need that don't have another way to get up on coping. because Or, or up, up a ramp. Because say, for example, hey, you want hat? Because say, for example, you don't know how to pump high enough to get up there, but you know how to drop in. You're not going to get up there unless you can climb, but if you got some steps, you can make shit happen. I like this part right there. I really do. It's a boom. If you look in here and you can see my FP insoles, possibly, with a little flower design. And on this one, you may or may not be able to. And I found out when I measured my feet, so my right one is a little bit bigger than the left one. So I can never 
have them set up identically the same. My insole inside the liner of one and then on the outside of the lining on the other so that way my feet don't kill me. I think I found a way to charge my phone. I got this cable that I travel with, a little pineapple, but it's type C so it's like, damn, I'm screwed. I can't plug this. No, wait, it is, is it type C? I'm here bugging. That's right. It's type C, so I can use the same one as my cell phone. Because I had the one for my headset. So as you can tell, you get, these are going to be part of the list of things that you should bring just in case you get screwed. So, just like my cell phone, I just got lucky. If you don't have one for your cell phone, or even if you do, I would have one of each. So that way, if you need to charge your phone and your camera at the same time. Then, this is my external battery pack. I could talk about that later, but just letting you know, you should have it, and I hope this will charge it. And, yep, so I'm gonna let this charge as I warm up in the park, all right guys? Well, buckle up first, right? Chonka chonka. All right, let's hit this shit real quick a little bit. see so for the best then I cover my phone so sometimes you do see a shirt or something in the way but that's so it doesn't overheat as fast as it okay let's go Random update. Been in for so far. The people walking their dogs left, chilling for a while in the shade. And then saw one screwed dude pass by the park. Other than that, it's been pretty damn good. Just gotta remember that right there, there's only like six inches or so. So, yeah. This one's pretty damn rough. And that one's the one I just started hitting. So if I come from the other side, can you see? Yeah. If I come from this side towards me, I ride it longer. When I'm on this side, I don't. And I don't know if it's because there's a slight arch in it, but I think it's all in my head. These are kind of like Tonka trucks, but the opposite color, instead of yellow with black, it's black with a little bit of yellow. Like Tonka. Tonka, Tonka, Tonka. Shit. Damn it. This is what happens when you try to record. Same foot. Boom, let's here we go. All right, don't die.
Alright, so as hot as balls as I have here, the last couple of days has been heat advisories, but figured I had to go this far to get my car checked over half an hour, 40 minutes. So might as well come to the skate park, but it's hot as hell. And all I have was coffee with me. So that doesn't help. Alright, we're just gonna hit a couple of them, not too many, I don't know. Because my wrist is only begun to start to feel better. So I think these are called like gong jumps or something like that from parkour and there's a couple people. practice I, I need to watch a video I don't know what to do and maybe with sneakers first but I'm over here dying let's see if I get up there before I leave how about that 